Hello. During the DECRA Driving Future Platform meeting in the European Parliament in October 2016, we dealt with the issue of road safety and vehicle automation. The topic is getting more and more in the focus of public debate. Therefore, it is for DECRA as a global partner for safety of importance to bring all relevant stakeholders together. Participants from the political and economical sector were asked up front the following question. What are the opportunities for automated driving in the upcoming years? Please hear and see what their answers were. Automated driving provides a great opportunity in vehicle safety as well as in comfort. Uh, the comfort of driving will increase with uh, higher levels of automation, but also vehicle safety will increase. We though have to be very careful about uh, what we do with uh, vehicle safety and with automated driving because we have to take uh, to make sure that the driver still knows what his part of the, of the uh, uh, responsibility is. And uh, the car and the, uh, and the driver have to communicate. So the driver needs to know what the distribution of responsibility is and uh, he has to have a realistic uh, understanding of who is responsible for what part of the driving process. The future smart driver assistance systems will allow to make traffic much more safer and they will keep the elderly people more mobile as they will be today. And the development will also guarantee that the adaptive systems will deliver the right support for the people which need the support at the very moment in the specific traffic situation. The automated and connected driving is the future and the future is right now. We have to um, acknowledge that this technology is uh, possible, it could uh, facilitate our transport needs in the future and uh, for safer traffic, for safer transport, for convenient transport and um, in order to achieve our overall goals within the European Union. Automated driving is a big chance for the European Union to set standards in future mobility. It depends, I think, whether you're looking in the short term or the long term. So in the short term, what automation delivers is particularly the ability to safely engage in non-driving activities while the car is being driven by the system. And that's the way to uh, solve and address the problem of distraction that we have in vehicles. And everybody, of course, wants to use their time as fruitfully as possible, so that's what automation delivers. But in the long term, it can deliver huge safety benefits, and it also delivers a solution to the mobility problems for elderly people, handicapped people, and whatever. So I think we have to take both of those aspects into account.